Hi, my name is Osaros, and this is my very small role-playing game. It's called the Keyring uh, RPG. Um, as you will notice, the RPG is in Swedish, but my intention is to post it on more than one website and uh, as a part of my portfolio, hence the English walkthrough. Um, I thought I'd give you a small tour of the RPG. First of all, this booklet was funded through Funded by Me, uh, which is a Swedish crowdfunding site. Uh, and I can't thank all the people who helped me by pitching in enough. This is the list of all the people that's helped me make this come true uh, as a printed item. Uh, you're awesome and fantastic, and I hope to be able to create more projects using the surplus I got from the crowdfunding. So, thank you so very, very much for this. Couldn't have done it without you. So, to start with, there are rules to help you play the game. Um, there are 40 pages of rules, not that much. All the rules are voluntary. You can use them, change them, or do what you want with them. The intention is to make the game easy to play, so preferably stick with them. Um, the basis is your character has special uh, special abilities. Your character has, has abilities that you can use when faced with a challenge set, uh, set up by the game master. The challenge has a specific difficulty, and in order to get above that, you need to roll one or more dice, and those are six-sided dice, uh, to see if you succeed. You also have skills that you can use in order to make your roll better. That's basically what the rules are about. Um, there's 40 pages of it. Most of it is about conflicts. So they're both social and martial uh, conflicts that you can partake in. Um, so the rest of the game, which is more than half as you can see, is taken up by maps and cards. And I thought I'd show you how the maps are assembled because there is a certain trick to it. So I just open the RPG and then you bring out the maps. There are five different maps. There's a city map, a cave system map. RPG, you can't go without a dungeon, right? Um, a normal sort of country map and two house maps, just to make sure that you have some sort of uh, place to, to hinge your, your adventures on. Because I know myself how difficult it is sometimes when you don't have a place to be and when it's just uh, in your head. So the maps are assembled like this. Up in the uh, upper left corner and in the upper right corner there are numbers and letters. So this is map one. It's page one and uh, letter A. So one one A, you match that to one one B. A. Voila. Uh, and then you have one two A. 1, 2B, they're not in order, uh, 1, 3B, 1, 3A, and 1, 4A, etc, etc. So basically, map 1, uh, page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4 on the A side, page 1, page 2, page 3, page three, page 4 on the B side. And then on the other side there are other maps built uh, in the same fashion basically. So this is map 2, 1A. So map 2, page 1, side A. Map 2, page 2, side A. And then you have Map 2, uh, page 1, side B. Map 2, page 1, page 2, side B. Easy. When you know the trick. Or you could just uh, puzzle around a bit. You'll find your way. I'm pretty sure uh, you're intelligent people. That's why you play role-playing games, right? <clears throat> okay, <laughs> so apart from the maps. Oops, and my camera is slipping here. That's interesting. When you have an iPhone camera and you want to sort of make 
movies and you don't want to hold the the iPhone. It's fascinating what you can do with duct tape. Uh, anyway, apart from that, and I think I have it stabilized now. Apart from that, there are cards in this role playing game, right? Uh, the cards are intended to make it easier to come up with stories to, to tell the players. There are mission cards that tell the players what their objectives are, place cards that help you out with locations. So the mission cards look, uh, well they don't look like this because it's the difficulty page which uh, explains that green missions are simple missions, uh, yellow missions are medium missions, and red missions are difficult. So you can choose whichever mission you want, stealing, collecting, escort, etc, etc. Uh, the mission cards tell what their, the players what their objectives are. Plays cards that we also have in this bunch. Uh, help out with locations. Where's, where is the mission taking place? Obstacle cards uh, that set the stage with things to overcome by the players and set an, uh, and a set of other less important cards uh, to play around with such as uh, uh, motivation cards and uh, reward cards and so on. The motivation cards uh, have to do with what the player believes in uh, and there's also character sheets which are pretty small but uh, very efficient and very visual. I like it. Um, of course, because I made the game right. <laughs> uh, if you're interested you can buy this little game on my website uh, discordia.se and I'm also looking into selling uh, at stores around in Sweden. So I'll put up any information that I have as soon as I get it. Thanks for watching.